Hi, this is Sasha from theautismhelper.com, and today I'm here to show you the setup of my assessment binder. I set it up a little differently this year because assessments are really important and I need an organized way to access them whenever I need them. But I also don't use my assessments every single day, so I don't want them in my main language arts or math data binder or even my teacher binder. I almost need a whole separate place. And I really love having all the assessments in one spot. This helped a lot with my level daily curriculum because there's a lot of assessments embedded in there, which is great, but I need a spot and a system for them. So I use this great dividers. I have all the assessments organized by type so I can find them really easily. I just had to write an IEP and it was super great to just flip to the right section and find it right away. So for my language arts section, I have my um, level daily curriculum set up right here. I have a page divider for each student. So each student has all of their rubrics and data sheet in a page divider. So I pulled it out over here to show you what's included. So we have our grading data sheet. So we've just done unit one. So we only have unit one done so far. And then we have all of the rubrics in here. So as the students go through the units, I'll complete the rubric based on their pretest. The post test will go right on the back and I'll put the scores up over here. So I have everything in one spot. It all goes into the page protector and then I can find it all really nicely. It's a lot of paperwork with this. So we wanna make sure that we're really organized. My math section is set up exactly the same way. So we have all of the math assessments right in here. So back to the agenda. So I have my language arts level daily curriculum, my math level daily curriculum, and spelling assessment. For spelling, I use, oh no, the wrong section. So next I have my Rigby reading, so we use Fountas and Pinnell for our guided re guided reading levels. So I have all of the students' names every um, three months when I assess their reading level, what their score is, and then again, thing the same thing with these page protectors. All of their old reading assessments are right in here. So instead of having to flip through all of these different reading assessments, I can just flip through each student and find their exact section. Next, I have spelling. We use words their way, which I love. Um, I have a lot of posts about it if you're interested. So I have all of my extra sheets in a page protector. And then again, each student has their own page protector full with all of their old tests, all of their old scoring sheets. If you use Fountas and Pinnell, I really love this format that I figured out to kind of to keep track of the different scores they get. So the date, each score they got in each section, and then the total score. So it's a nice quick glance to see their progress and to see how they've advanced each time. So there's one section for each student. Um, other sections that are included are ABLES. I have all my students' ABLES in here and my reading fluency data. So now, then I've even kept a few other sections open if I'm gonna add in other assessments when I do my state mandated um, beginning of the year testing, I'll throw that in this section and any other additional tests that I add. It's nice to have this section for each and the system of using a page protector for each student and have all of their stuff in the page projector makes it a lot easier. The binder is massive, but everything's in one spot. Um, so again, this was a video preview of my assessment binder from theautismhelper.com.